You stole, stole Eleanor from, from me. me. Twisted, Twisted that baby that girl into a into thing so, so sick it can't even die. And now, and now you come, come swanning, swanning into my neighborhood, neighborhood looking, looking for me. me. Wrong, Wrong turn, turn Tin Daddy. When we hang you from a street light and you choking out your last, last. <sighs> I want you to...
eternity be part of.
send your daughter home! stash in his clinic to spice up a rhinoceros. Of course every poor soul in a drop's gonna start beating down your door. It's my job to think up a new key code to keep him out. Seems like every other day now. Nuts. I'll mull it over for a while at the fishbowl diner. I hear a few heartless brutes! How dare you!
Christ Old Papa's dropped Piss the off worst dog neighborhood dog in Rapture. But it's a hell of an opportunity to raise up. Well, sport, I guess Gracie's home. But that big lug just dropped half my damn hotel in your way. Now, to break through that mess, I expect you're gonna have to work out how he got so burly. Find yourself a genetic research camera, son. You can pick up any number of tricks from a splicer with one of those. Try the pawn shop downtown. There's the pawn shop, but it's bolted up tight. You'll have to find another way inside, I expect.
Eleanor's grown now, baby snatcher. Even after what you did to her, Dr. Lamb found a way to shape that girl into something perfect, something holy. She's a daughter to us all. Nobody in Rapture will shelter you now. Grace has got the wrong idea. You're not responsible for turning Eleanor into a little... ...little sister. Big daddies are just slaves, and you only recently broke free. Mommy has to go away for a while. You shall be staying with Aunt Gracie. Mommy! Don't go! Eleanor, 
You are better than that. Do you remember what I told you? I am very special. That's right. And what else? I was born to change the world. Yes. And when Mummy returns home, the world will be very different indeed. She will make it ready for you. That thing's a miracle in Technicolor, kid. Works like a movie camera. Start the film rolling before you open fire on a splicer, and then anything you hit him with tells you more about his DNA. Let's give it a dry run, shall we? Easy now. Looks like you got the jump on this fella. Start your camera recording him. Then hit him with a little bit of everything. Plasmids, firearms, whatever you can dish out. out. That's it, son. Camera spits out a prize once in a while as you learn what makes a splice a tick. Now, find one of those big old brutes and take him out on film. Before long, you'll be able to brush aside that mess at the hotel. Using that camera is a bit like telling a joke. 
Each time you tell it the same way, it gets a little more stale. So you gotta change it up to keep it fresh. themselves over. Like dying is an honor. I'd almost feel sorry for them if they didn't have my daughter. I'm going to find Lamb and take Cindy back one way or another. one of those big goons now. Start your camera rolling on him, and then let him have it. We're just matching, Ted. No, no, no! Fuck! Fuck! <coughs> just... Yeah! Ah! <coughs> 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 Look at you, Sport. A regular junior shutterbug. And it appears you've picked up a new trick from that big galoot. Now get back to the Sinclair Deluxe and just bust through that mess blocking your way. Here, Father. It's yours. You are evolving fast, but your heart is getting weaker. I can keep you alive, but you must find me. I can't save the likes of you! For grace, the power. 
paradise of Andrew Ryan was most unkind. She spoke against him in song, and he had her blacklisted. It left her penniless. But in the family, she has found hope, a reason to draw breath. Ask yourself, Delta, do you deserve to take it from her? Just rev up that drill of yours and slam right through that pile of junk blocking your way. Now Gracie was on the top floor. Get on up there and persuade her to give you that override key. Has headed up into the hotel family. He wants me so he can get to Eleanor. Tin Daddy feels no guilt. Tin Daddy feels no pain. But we are the family and we can teach him how.
Watching you hurt shouldn't give me such a lift, monster. But I'm not as clean on the inside as the doctor. I'll take my jaw where I can. Hello? told me that in Rapture, it didn't matter where you came from. Bum! Times got hard, and all our old bigotries bubbled right back up. But Dr. Lamb showed us that down under the skin, down under the money, down under our very name, we are family. Grace's room is just up ahead. Now, she's been sending all manner of unkindness your way, so I'm not particular as to how you take that key away from her, but she's old, and this grudge against you was based on a misunderstanding. Monster. I, because your kind has killing in its nature, and you, because there's no way the family will let you stroll out alive with that key. Empty house. 
only an echo to my name. Eleanor. Baby, where are you? I turned my back and someone took you. It happened so quick. I'm not even a half mama to you, girl. I couldn't protect you. This poster of Dr. Lamb in my room is staring me down like it knows I'm ashamed. I've always been loyal to your real mother, Ellen. I know what you're here for. Go on, take it. I won't have you touching me. Dr. Lamb trusted me to care for her child. And I tried. But baby Eleanor disappeared. And then one day, I see her walking with you. Looking wrong. And when I tried to hold her, you knocked me down. Broke my jaw. So I'm ready, baby snatcher. Come on in and finish the job. Your call, friend. Grace is unarmed for what it's worth. What are you doing? To hell with you, then. Go on. You're a bigger man than I am, Chief. Maybe next time she'll think twice about pointing fingers before all the facts are in. Now, let's be on our way. Eleanor's waiting. You had me under a gun, yet you just walk away? No monster alive turns the other cheek. No monster does that. A thinking man does that. I know that Dr. Lamb is no liar, but she's got to be wrong about you. Doesn't seem right now, letting you walk into that bushwhack waiting outside. I can't call off the family, but I can whisper a bit and improve your odds. These whirly birds are custom jobs by an old friend. I'm afraid this is all I can do for now. you now. You've done more than just spare my life. You've opened my eyes. I need to put a few questions to Dr. Lamb. By sparing grace, do you seek to gain my trust? A feeble ruse. Your crocodile tears may poison her with doubt, but I am not so easy a mark.
Just take that override key and slot it into the control box in the ticket booth there. That'll open the gates. Hop on, kid, and start the train. Don't make me pull the whistle. That's it. We have to close down the limbo. Bomb goes off in that fancy place uptown and everybody panics. 
pulls their money out of the banks, a whole city tugging on the same dollar bill. So the banks fold, and maybe one in ten got their savings out. <sighs> Who's gonna come here me nightingaling about how broke they are? How am I gonna provide for little Eleanor?
Troublesome oaf! My folks lived in the St. Louis Hooverville in 32, and the drop is worse by a mile. Nobody's supposed to live down here. City pissing on us. Never try. Ryan doesn't care, and Fontaine's a damn crook. But Dr. Lamb cares. Question people to her. She's offering free mental counseling on Sundays. When I go, I get the feeling she's got a plan for rapture. And for me. That's it. Hear me, O ye who would murder the Lamb of God! Ye shall never reach her garden! Kid, come on, wake up now. There you are. I thought you rode that torpedo into the grate hereafter. I'm in Dionysus Park now. Train cars are shambles, leaking air. Whole damn place is flooded and sealed. But there's a pumping station back there on Siren Alley, and I believe you could jerry-rig it to drain the park out. That'd let you stroll right inside. Get to those pumps and hurry. <laughs> 